Hi, my name's Jenny and we're here at Wimbledon Village Stables and today we're going to be looking at the different aspects of horse riding and horse care. This is how to tack up, or some people call it saddle up a horse. We're going to look at how to put the saddle on and then we're going to look at how to put his bridle on. With the horse nice and secure, with his head collar on, we can put the saddle on first. This is because he hasn't got anything from the bridle that's going to attach to his saddle. So first of all, you need to put a numner. Some people call this a saddle cloth, some people call it a numner, but it goes underneath the saddle to stop the horse from getting too hot and sweaty under the saddle and the saddle rubbing. So first of all, just put the numner up a little bit higher than where the saddle's going to go because we're going to slide it back into position in a second to make sure all the hair is lying in the correct direction. So, making sure it's the white right way round with the straps at the front, just put the saddle on nice and gently. Always tell the horse that something's going to happen. Lowering it down nice and gently, lift the numner up into the pommel and just slide the saddle back into position. This way you can be sure that all the hair is in the right direction and it's absolutely comfortable for the horse. Then we're going to make sure that the numner is nice and secure so that when we're riding it doesn't slip off. So just putting this through the saddle straps. Okay, this is the girth. This is the most important bit of kit because this is what's going to hold your saddle on and make sure that it doesn't fall off. Always make sure before you do anything that you check to see if your girth is nice and secure and there's no bits of leather broken. It's a sign of a good yard if the tack is in good condition. If you go to a riding stables and the tack is in bad condition, then this can be a sign that it might be dangerous to ride there. And also, if their tack's not good condition, then it's obviously probably they're not looking after their horses as well as, what, as, well as they could be. So, the girth goes through the straps on the numner as well and attaches to the saddle. Always use the first strap and the second or third strap. As you can see here, the second and third strap are attached together and the first strap is on its own. The reason behind this, so if one breaks, you've still got a backup. If you attach the girth just to these two straps here and this broke, then your girth would come away. So for safety reasons, attach it to the first and the second or the third. Then we're going to go round the other side and secure the girth. And you go round. Again, making sure the numbna is nice and tucked up into the pommel so it doesn't rub onto his back. And again, making sure you secure the numner. Thanks, Jester. Okay, you might need to make some adjustments to make sure it's far enough forward. Make sure the saddle sits so when the girth is attached, it lies just behind the leg. A good fitting saddle will sit nice and comfortably on his back. You should be able to slide the hand underneath the saddle and there should be plenty of clearance above his wither. A saddle should be the correct length as well. It shouldn't sit too far back on his loins. Again, tucking this under the numbness so it doesn't come loose. And because I attached it to the first and the third on the other side, I'm going to attach it to the first and the third on this side, making sure it's nice and secure. Now, some horses like to breathe out when you're doing up their girth. So before you get on, it's very important that you recheck it and make sure it's nice and tight. OK, now we're going to have a look at the bridle. So I'm just going to make sure I don't walk too close to his back legs. Again, the bridle, and like the saddle, is always put on from the left-hand side. OK. So we're going to undo our quick release knot and just have it resting through the loop. So if he panics when he's having his bridle put on, he can pull away, but I've still got time to catch him. OK, so make sure your bridle's ready. Have your reins in one hand and the bridle in the other. And just make sure that it is his bridle. Have a quick check before you put it on to make sure it's about the right length. Because if you put it on and it's too short, he may panic. To start with, we're going to keep him secure by having the head collar round his neck. So if he does decide to wander off, I've still got him. Come on, sweetheart. OK, so first of all, reins go over the head, making sure they're nice and back. Then basically, the way I like to do it is I put my hand between his ears, I rest my hand on the bit. Now, before I put it in, there's a bit of the horse's mouth here with no teeth. It's a nice fleshy part. So this is where I'm going to put my thumb to encourage him to open his mouth to take the bit. So my thumb goes in there, I press on it, and he opens his mouth. 
and then gently put the bridle over his ears. Don't worry, his ears do bend a little bit, so don't worry about pulling them down, but again, make sure you do it as quickly as possible so that they're not under any distress. The first bit of the bridle you do up, and this is the most important because it holds the bridle on, is the throat lash. Most bridles that have already been used before will have a mark on them where they're normally done up, but do it up and make sure the horse does and make sure there's a hand's width in between your horse and the throat lash. Oh. <laughs> the next bit of the bridle to go in is the nose band. And this tucks under the cheek pieces on both sides. This just does up at the back of the horse's head. And does up nice and tightly. Now this horse here, make sure that you can fit at least a finger in the front of the nose band. This horse here wears a flash as well, which goes under the bit. Therefore, the nose band needs to be slightly tighter than it would be if he didn't have a flash. When you've done, make sure that you tuck in all the runners and keepers. This makes sure there's nothing waving around in the horse's face when he's being ridden. And with that on, have a little check. Make sure all the runners or keepers are in. Make sure that there's no broken bits of tack anywhere and you're ready to go.